Full reactions are on Patreon, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of She-Ra and the Princesses of Power, Episode 1 of Season 3. The Price of Power! And press planet when I press play when the timer reaches zero. I say, the price of power is a battery fitty. Yeah, I really would not be surprised if this doesn't even feel like a new season. It's straight up just season two, part two. Well, really? Wow. Nice. I mean, strictly speaking, this is good news, but... I... I just hope she's not, like, planning to possess her or some... Bellos nonsense like that. By having magic powers, duh. I mean, it's humane. And that's how prison should be. Damn. I'd be saying to these guards, is there even a point to you? Nah, see, that's a good argument. She's already there. Your acting is as bad as ever. <laughs> I didn't think she was actually gonna do it! That was your grand master plan? God damn it, I'm tied up again?! <laughs> Shit, by that logic, I'm Glimmer's mother, too. Nice. Was he the king? Okay, okay, I knew. I knew we'd heard the name. Damn it. Nah, but that is how prison should be. About rehabilitation, not just being a cold, scary block for people to sit in for 30 years and then get out and be worse criminals than they were before. Within reason. I'm your boss, get out of the way. Got it! <laughs> Making an example out of you. Did 
Is she just gonna take what's gonna happen to her? Uh... I don't know, maybe I'm just in a once upon a time mood recently, but all I've been thinking is quotes from that show for this reason, for in the lately. <laughs> and now I'm sitting here thinking villains don't get happy endings. Oh. Oh. I mean, I I kind of knew you were going to go that route, but I didn't want it to be that sad. Is this supposed to be the lamest, good, the bad, and the ugly standoff, uh, standoff ever? Were they both faking? Oh, wait, no, he's definitely actually asleep. Maybe not Glimmer. <laughs> at, the, at some point, you're gonna run out of those tele. She ain't even gonna bother this time. I mean, so was Adora. Like, don't get me wrong, I think you're right that you should handle this with a ten-foot pole, but... Adora should- you should know that Adora would know better than you! You were imprisoned by her, you have extra reason beyond mo normal. Alright, I'm being unfair. I mean, I don't think she's really indicated that she's changed at all. I mean, she appeared over your bed doing this. Adora! <laughs> like, that's not exactly... <laughs> reformative. Do you have any idea? Oh, come on. Really? Card tricks? Were you play acting? Or did you just toughen up for this conversation?
I mean, that's true. <laughs> oh. I mean, I talk about somebody who deserves it, but much like Catra, you still see her as a mom, right? Oh. Yeah. I will cut your head off. Wait! <laughs> okay. I'm really glad I at least kinda got there on my own, even though I should have remembered the name. When I skimmed before, I was just looking through scenes. I wasn't listening to all the dialogue in the show. Kind of expected a, a mask removal there moment. Ooh, ooh. Are you gonna fix his body armor, whatever's kicking his ass with that? <laughs> She's like, I got objective reasons to keep her around. The Crimson Waste, yes! Are you going to take this as a reason to give her one last opportunity? Now, I've never taught anyone correctly in my life other than Glimmer's father, so I need you to do the exact opposite of what I said, and it should work. <laughs> I'd rather my own dying <laughs> issues to be the only issues I got. C can she get out of there? Dude, this music is fucking killer. Bo is doing a great card trick right now. <laughs> I'd love if we heard, that is my card! <laughs> No. How healed is she going to be? Whoa.
<laughs> to get healed. All right, fair enough. All right, you knew what was up with that. Oh, he's got bigger plans based on that one conversation with, uh, Entrapta. Because he's got Entrapta. <laughs> It re any more re I mean, I guess Hordak did say that this world really struggled to understand that there were other worlds, but is it really any more ridiculous than anything else? Ooh. Okay. I did not understand before. Awesome! This is an isekai! I mean, to be honest, I, this I, I get that this is st a stunning revelation, but it doesn't meaningfully change anything about your life to learn this. Yeah, I am always here. Of course you know I'm here. Is, is Light Hope a bad guy? Oh, that'd be crazy. You don't understand that babies can't, don't remember everything? <laughs> Ooh. All right. I mean, I get stunning revelation, she'd be shocked and all, but this isn't, like, the worst thing. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I 
Oh, that part I'm totally on board with you being upset over. I must work on my <laughs> bedside manner. <laughs> you have friends, you have people who care about you and love you. T t t to be fair, only really the two people knew the truth. Arguably just the one. And at the very least, Entrapped is going to be there too. Possibly catch her if she manages to sway things. Let's see how that goes. It's, it, this could end up being the real final moment for uh, their estrangement, I think. Compromised, I will give you based on the behavior, but Entrapta kind of proved the other two completely false. <laughs> That's what's up! Tell him he was going to kill you or whatever anyway. <laughs> dude, dude. Listen to this. Ooh. That's some evil Christmas music energy right there. Dude, every plot beat in this show, ever since, <laughs> really ever since, Catra pushed Adora off that ledge in that first one's ruin, has just been banger. I don't know. <laughs> You ever have a moment of realization where you go from just liking a show to loving it? I I had that at some point. <laughs> and I think that might have been the start of the switch. <laughs> really and truly, and although I do enjoy the rest of the characters in this show... Uh, a good bit. Catra is turning into one of my favorite characters in anything. If she can stick the landing in this show total, it's one of those characters I'm never really going to forget. That's amazing. Everything they've done with her is awesome. The music, too. As I brought up the, the, the weird evil Christmas music we just got there, too, but it's also been a step up. Uh, I feel like I'm still in season two. I'm talking about season two. It's because it was seven episodes long. It's season two! <laughs> you know, I watch a lot of good shows doing these reactions, but I don't think it's been too often. That I've been this excited for the re for for what's next, you know. I I I'm so engrossed. <laughs> 
in what they're doing and how they're doing it. That the best way I can put it is every show I watch does not infect my brain when I'm not watching the show. It, they they couldn't all possibly. You can't love everything equally. Shows like Steven Universe, uh, The Owl House, Adventure Time, of course. After a while, that one took a little longer to get to that point, but it did get there. The 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 great ones, the truly great ones. Like I I end up stuck with them, like weeks on end, and it it's just what I'm focused on, a micro obsession deal. And I love getting to that point with shows because you can never really know you're gonna get to that point in a show without getting there. Just that absolute adore. Mint. Not a word. That pushes you over the edge. Because I am I love all cartoons, pretty much. Even the ones I don't like, I, I, I enjoy not liking to a degree for, for a technical aspect. I, I am a fan of media at heart. But it is, it is a special feeling to run into something you truly love. This, is, this show's just fucking banger, man. Next time.